What's going on everyone? This is Jason and I'm back with another What's Old video. So I'm excited about this video because I've got some unique pieces on this one that I'm going to show you. A lot of these are, um, surprisingly, I didn't plan it this way, but a lot of them are hunting, outdoor enthusiast type pieces. And I've even got some um, other than clothing pieces, some pieces that I don't normally pick up that I'm excited to show you about. So thank you for tuning into this video. We're going to get into it pretty soon here. I'm going to show you 30 to 32 items that sold for me in the month of January. I'm sticking with those more unique pieces so you get a lot of different stuff in front of you. But let me go ahead and tell you about a question that I received on my uh, YouTube channel and I wanna do a shout out real quick. So let's go to my YouTube channel and pull up this comment. He says, love your videos and TikToks. I always check the bags at Goodwill, hoping to find some cash or some treasure. Have you ever found something? Well, that is, a, that is a comment I've been waiting to reply to because I wanted to do a shout out on a video rather than just typing in a response. Thank you so much for asking that question because I have actually found money while I've been out thrifting a couple of times. I'll tell you, actually I'll tell you both because they're really cool stories. I picked up a pair of women's or girls ski pants for $3 at a Goodwill. I flipped them for 35 bucks with shipping and Coincidentally, in the pocket of those pants was $35. So I got $70 total on $3 spent. That was a fun find for me. I hardly ever find money, but that was a good one. And then the second one was even larger than that. One morning I went out, this was uh, probably a year ago, I was out at the first Goodwill of the day. It was like a Friday run. I was just having a lot of fun. I get my cart, I'm going down the aisle and I'm looking at shirts. More specifically, I'm looking at like hoodies and sweatshirts and I'm sifting through and right there is a hoodie that's like the hood is kind of like pulled out a little bit from the, uh, it's not like tucked into the rack, it's kind of like hanging out. And inside the hood of that sweatshirt was a $50 bill. I couldn't believe it. I started looking around like, is this a joke? Is someone watching me? I was kind of nervous about taking it because it was just sitting on top of the hood. It looked like it had been placed there. It wasn't like it was in a pocket. And I'm looking around, no one was looking at me, no one was looking for it. I was the first person in this store. It was right as they had opened. So I had just put the money in my pocket and then I did the rest of my shopping. Couldn't believe it, 50 bucks. That was the best find that I've ever had as far as finding cash in a pocket. But anyways, let me know what's the biggest item you found, the most money or a valuable piece that you have found in an item that you thrifted at a thrift store or yard sale. All right, well, I wanna just go ahead and get into this video right now. Let's go ahead and get started because I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this one and we've got some great pieces to show you. So let's jump to my computer and show you exactly what I have. Let's go. All right, guys, here we are on the first item and I've got about 30 items for you. So let's just roll through these really quickly and I'll try and give you the details you need to know. But I paid six bucks for this. It was half price and it's this Pier 1 serving bowl. It was a large bowl. So I don't know how many ounces it was, but it was like a 13 inch diameter across the front here. And then I, um, you, can, you can tell by the bottom there, Pier 1, and then you'll find the model there which I put into the title. So I had this listed for 55.83 plus 20 shipping. Got an offer for $45 all in. I went ahead and took it just because I've collected up a bunch of these dishes and sets and things and it's taken up a lot of space. And $45 for this one bowl is a good price. So $6 into 45 and I paid 15 to sorry, $12 to ship it. So profit on this would have been around 15 to $20 profit after fees and everything. And be on the lookout for Pier 1, just because they went out of business. People may be looking to get sets and stuff before, uh, while they can still get pieces. This next item actually sat in my store for quite some time. This is a vintage Columbia ski jacket, and just really awesome piece. I don't know why it took so long. So I sat on this, and finally I was just like, if I can get a good offer on this, I'm going to go ahead and take it. An offer came for $30, uh, $35 with shipping, and I took this. I paid around five to ten dollars for this jacket. I don't remember exactly because I've had it for so long, but yeah, I probably pocketed about fifteen bucks uh, profit after fees on this. And it did have a few small f uh, spots on the front, as you can see here in the um, title of this uh, or in the description of this listing. So, not a bad flip here, but um, just surprised at how long it took, especially since it was vintage. 
I got a knife haul from my grandmother. Um, she was going through the attic and pulling out some stuff that she had from my grandfather who has passed, but she had a bunch of uh, vintage knives and some Zippos and just a lot of things like this. And you can even see on this knife, it's, you know, it's got some rusted parts, some wear, but people are snatching these things up and I listed them last week and already sold a third of them. This one went for $57.50 all in on this um, on this knife. So really good price on this. And um, I can't really get the credit for the profit on this because my I'm going to be paying my grandmother. But I wanted to show you this just because pieces like this have sold really well for me. And I'll, I'll have another knife later on in this or another item, I guess, from that lot in this video. So keep an eye on vintage knives. This was a Browning. Um, Browning, I've seen Imperial. Um, I think those are the two main ones that I, that are in this lot. But yeah, 5750, great flip on that. This wasn't the original sheath that came with this knife, but I listed this just to give someone a sheath. It did fit in there. So great, great sale there. This next item, these Asics Gel Venture 6 women's running shoes were almost new condition. I mean, the soles are amazing. I don't know if it'll pick up, but you can see there's hardly anywhere. I almost listed them as new, but I thought better to list them as excellent used condition and someone get them and then be shocked at how great condition they are. But I finally did sell these. I've been going through my store, my inventory, relisting um, a bunch of old items, kind of touching up, editing, and then selling similar of those items to get them to freshen up. And so I've relisted about 250 items. And these are one of the ones that after I relisted sold pretty quickly after I listed them. So I have had these since August 13th of 2019. These ASICs, I don't typically pick up anymore, but the reason why I would have gotten these just because of the great condition. Um, but women's running shoes, men's running shoes do sell if you can look for good brands like um, A6 isn't bad, but Hook is another really good one that sells well. Um, these sold for full price, $30.23, and I got the $10 shipping on these as well. Here's another piece that I thought honestly would sell a lot quicker than it did. This was a New York Giants like Letterman style leather jacket. I, I don't know if I'd call it Letterman, but um, kind of that similar feel of like the felt and the leather. New York is a huge market and I thought the Giants, I just thought this would really sell and it just didn't. Um, I've had this since April 8th of 2019. I mean, gosh, it's almost two years old. So finally someone made an offer for $35 all in and I just took it just because I was tired of looking at it. But I'm glad to get 35 bucks on that and I'll take that. Um, that has shipped and um, made about $15 profit on that item. Here is a great piece. This dinnerware set is unbelievable. Take a look at that pattern. I mean, this picture has a hard time pulling in the colors, but this jungle themed dinner set was, uh, let's see here, a lot of 10. It was six plates and four bowls. I picked up for $10 for all of this at a Goodwill probably a month and a half ago. I listed this up. I had it, you can see I had it for the 119.83 plus 25 shipping and someone made an offer for a hundred bucks plus the 25 shipping. So $125 all in. I did pay 10 um, to pick it up. I did pay, I think about 15 to ship it. So I'm looking at actually probably around the 85 to $90 profit range after you take out the eBay fees. But this is a great set. And let me show you the brand here. It's Sakura, I think is how you say it. Jungle Animals is the model, Stephanie Stouffer. You can see I tried to get all of that in the title as well as Lot 10. And then with something like this, especially these dinnerware sets, I'll kind of clarify, I'll, I'll put the title again here, but I'll clarify what, what they're getting just to make sure that they um, can see in multiple places what it is this listing comes with. So I've got six plates, four bowls. You can even see one of the plates has a chip and I've got a picture of that. And then all are in great, all, all the others are in great condition. Total of 10 pieces. So, I mean, if someone's reading the description, they shouldn't, they should completely understand what this comes with. But I'll show you there is a chip on one of the plates right there. You can kind of see in the top. But yeah, this was a great item. Someone messaged me at the beginning of January and said, I'd like to buy this, um, but I don't have the money to pay until the end of January. And I just reached out to them and said, you know, I'd love to sell it to you, but please come back when you have the money. Um, I can't hold it for the whole month of January, you know, because some buy buyers are just really fickle. I didn't know if I'd ever see her again. And I honestly don't know if I sold it to her. But I did sell it, um, 
I, I th yeah, that name, that username does look familiar. I did sell it, so I'm glad to get 125 on that. Next up, this Billy Reed uh, button-up like flannel um, was men's medium, <clears throat> but this brand usually sells really fast because this was a medium. Obviously, it, it took longer, but there's the brand right there, Billy Reed Medium Slim. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was a great color. And um, yeah, I got a total of $29 with shipping on this. So very happy for that sale. But I had to sit on this for about four or five months for it to finally sell. So Billy Reed, I don't usually find that often. But I've noticed that when I when I do find it, if it's in a decent size, it sells relatively quickly, with meaning within like the first three months. <clears throat> You may have seen a previous video where I highlighted these, um, picked them up for like, I think four bucks, if I remember right, at a Goodwill. They were new in the box. I mean, you can still see they're sitting there in the box, but I was quite shocked at how much these go for. Uh, you know, I honestly thought probably 15 to $25 with shipping, and I got home and looked them up, or actually looked them up in the store, but ended up buying them. Um, I saw that sold comps on these were 40 to $55, so I listed that kind of in that range and these sold full price. This 31.83 for um, the, the price, 31.83 and then the 12 shipping. But you can see these are like massive, I mean, I don't know if you can tell how big they are, but they're like massive gloves that kids would wear and they're like foamy material and they're just a lot of fun. So um, the funny story is that I was at a thrift store and found, so after I purchased these a month or so later, I found another set used at the same store I ended up picking them up for two bucks and then the next day these sold. So um, that was just a fun find and uh, I love finding stuff like this that's outside that clothing section that does sell for more money, that's lighter weight and honestly it's just, it's sometimes clothing can get boring when you find the same brands and the same shirts over and over so it's fun to have different things to look up. So if you ever find these Gamma Grip gloves, new or used, I'd say pick them up for, if you can get them for a few bucks. You can definitely flip, flip them for good money. All right, this was uh, a brand I'm familiar with, but I'd never seen Polo Ralph Lauren University before. And the tag had, you can see right there, Polo University by Ralph Lauren. Um, honestly, like I said, never found the tag with University, but they were brand new for like 450. So I picked these up. Um, was getting offers on these from one particular buyer for around that like 25 plus shipping range and i had eight bucks and uh 20 25 he kept going back and forth and sometimes he would lower his price but i just stayed firm around that mid 30s range um after about three offers he finally came up to 30 dollars plus shipping and you can see i had these at 39.83 and i looked these up and i was you know there were several that sold for 34 35 mid 30s plus shipping so I sent him a counter for 34 and long story short, short story long, uh, they finally, he accepted at 34, which I was kind of shocked. So 34 plus shipping, $42 all in on these and they were 100% um, wool, which definitely helps with dress pants. And um, yeah, great, great size, great color, blue. I mean, uh, it was an all around great sale there. All right, um, a few months ago, actually around the summer, I picked up several of these Osprey, um, a mixture of brand new and used hip belts. I got probably four or five new and I paid like eight to 10 bucks a piece for them. Um, then I left the used ones. I came back and the used ones were 50 cents. So I picked up all of those as well. I've just been slowly selling these off and it's been a while since one of these is sold, but this finally did sale, uh, sell for full price of 39.83 plus the seven shipping. So on this brand new um, Osprey backpack hip belt, I got close to 50 bucks on this. And believe it or not, that was under a pound and fit in a poly mailer. So that was a score. Uh, this next brand, Mizzen and Maine, I've talked about so much. I just love finding this brand and it's just so hard to come by. But let me show you the tags so you can be aware of what to find. Mizzen and Maine, and you can see above that, Leeward is the style of shirt. This is a large trim fit, so I've got all that in the title. I got um, $40, $40 with shipping on this and it was a short sleeve shirt. But I've got a couple of Mizzen and Maine shirts that are long sleeve and those definitely sell for more money. You can get closer to 50, 55 on those. But yeah, great shirt, new with tags, paid $4 for it, got 40. That's a uh, 10 times my money right there. 
This next item sold at full price. I was kind of shocked that it did sell, even though it was excellent condition. This is a FootJoy Golf Polo. And um, I've picked up a lot of these FootJoy DryJoy Golf Polos. And um, this price that I got, 40, 4083 is typically what I get for DryJoys. FootJoys, so if you're not familiar, DryJoys are like the waterproof layer, whereas FootJoy is like a water resistant. So this wasn't even dry joy. It still got a really good price. It was excellent condition. And on these foot joys, there's the logo right there, um, the FJ. And believe it or not, you may not know this because it's kind of small. The size is right there by the J. You can see XL. And usually on foot joy, it'll have logo embroidered on the back of their shirts, of their pants, and other jackets. So great find here. Um, paid a few bucks for this, like six bucks on this jacket. Uh, at Goodwill and it was sold for $40.83. So though I haven't been going over the profit on all these items, just to give you an idea, the profit on this would have been about $20. So sweet score there. I should just label this video the hunting sales because I've got several items that are hunting, shooting shirts. Um, you, you saw that pocket knife earlier that are just like outdoorsman shirts and honestly, um, this January, I have sold a ton of these outdoor shirts. This was a Cabela's, um, Cabela's outdoor camo shirt, and there's the tag. It was XL tall, and I sold this within an hour and a half of listing it for a best offer of $52 with shipping. I was quite surprised at how well this sold. I mean, Cabela's is a great brand, but I've never had Cabela's items sell that quickly. Um, and I'll give you one more little tidbit on this. If you're looking at camo and you're not sure what the pattern is, you can normally find it um, on the shirt, usually on the pattern. I'm trying to see if I can see it here. But you can see I put in the title Advantage Camo. Advantage is the name of this pattern. And honestly, I just did a Google search, pulled up, I did um, camo patterns and or camo shirt pattern or something, and it came up. I was able to match it with this pattern, but I also did find it somewhere on this shirt. I'm just not seeing it in this video. There it is, uh, the top right shoulder. You can see in the black lettering, it says advantage, um, kind of going across the front there or on the back. So uh, this was a heavy like chamois shirt. You can see I've got um, that in the title. It was a great size. It was camo. It was, you know, just, there was a lot of things working on this one, but $52 on this and I only paid four bucks for it. Uh, that's a great flip from in my book. All right, and here's another item that I sat on for quite some time. This was an item that got relisted and then once I relisted it, it sold pretty quickly. This Colombian Northern Voyage jacket. You can see it's new with tags, it retails for 110 and I ended up getting this full price, $67.83 including shipping. I had this around that 185 to $100 range and it just sat and no one was making offers on it, no one was buying it, so finally I've slowly lowered it. I relisted it again after sitting for a while, and it's old, so glad to get this going. I'm not a big Columbia fan for reasons just like this. This was a great jacket, but here's probably why it sold, um, why it took so long to sell. It was men's medium. So, good indicator there. Size does matter when it comes to flipping clothing. Uh, here's um, a pair of Brooks Brothers 346, which is a great line of that brand. Clark dress pants, new with tags, great size. I got $38 with shipping on these, and I would have picked these up for about uh, five bucks, $4.50 um, at Goodwill. Would have been a no-brainer for me to pick this up when you see new with tags, especially on Brooks Brothers. Um, most of you are probably familiar with Brooks Brothers, but there's a tag on the back. You can see the 346 in parentheses there, Advantage Chino. Um, I always take a picture just so that people can see that they may be looking to buy this. Um, you know, it says flat front, straight fit, no cuff, wrinkle free. That way I don't have to put all that in the description. They can see it in the photo. Um, and then here's the inside as well. 100% cotton. These were the lower end of dress pants for Brooks Brothers and still they went for 38 bucks. If they had been wool or polyester, I probably would have gotten in the 40s for these. So Brooks Brothers, great find. I pick up their stuff all the time. Shirts, sweaters, pants, great brand. Here's another um, dinnerware set that I picked up. 
Story about this one is there was a uh, three or sorry, two different bundles with these patterns clearly donated by the same person. And this is William Sonoma. There's the back of one of these salad plates. This was a lot of seven salad plates in excellent condition. So salad plate being just a small plate, probably eight inches across in diameter. Actually, you can see in the title, eight and a half inches diameter. And um, it was just a beautiful pattern. I picked up 21 pieces. So I had um, 14 dinner plates and eight of these salad plates. I broke it up into three listings and I primarily did that because I didn't want to ship 21 items in a box. It could be really heavy. And the more items you ship, the heavier it is, the better chance you have of breaking something. So I broke this up. I did two listings of the seven dinner plates. So I've still got two listings, seven dinner plates each. That was 14 items. And then I've got these um, seven salad plates that were a third listing. So 21 total items. I paid $20 for all 21 pieces. You can pick up plates for a um, dollar or two a piece and you can sell them for $10, uh, $10 a piece. So I got um, a full price of an offer on this of $80 with shipping. So $80 on just the salad plates, and I still have 14 dinner plates left to sell, priced in that $60 to $100 range. They weren't as in good of condition as these. They did have some fading, so I may not get as much. But still, I've already made profit on the 20 that I spent with these with this sale, and I've still got 14 plates left. So be on the lookout for William Sonoma, because if, if someone, if you were to walk into their store and pay for these plates new, you'd probably be paying quite a bit more than what I sold these for. William Sonoma is a high end, um, maybe not as high end as like Pottery Barn or Pier One, but maybe maybe even it is. I don't know. Uh, I'd have to ask my wife on that, but I've been in their store and their stuff is expensive. So um, it's a great brand. Maybe some of you um, that are watching this video can help me out in the comments and let me know um, whether you've sold William Sonoma in the past, because that's my first sale on William Sonoma. All right, I love this brand, Orvis. This was a corduroy sports coat. There's the tag right there. I love corduroy. You maybe have heard me talk about this quite a bit. I'm slowing down on picking things up because it is February 1st, and uh, I've got about a month left of winter. Not that people won't buy a jacket in the summer, but corduroy is more of a cold winter layer, cold weather look. And so I, I'm gonna slow down on picking these up right now, unless I can just find one for a good deal. This one went for full price, 47.83 plus the nine shipping. So $56 and 83 cents. So a great piece and 42 is even on the smaller end. Um, another thing that helped sell it, you guys can find these padded elbows. Those will always, whether it's a shirt or a blazer, will always drive the price up just a little bit and help sell it a little quicker. So great flip on that Orvis jacket. I love that piece. All right, you saw that vintage knife, the antique knife um, that I showed you that I got for my grandmother. This was another piece, the sterling silver and turquoise bolo tie. Let me show you. If you don't know what a bolo tie is, don't worry, I didn't either. I had, I had seen these before, but I didn't know the name. I had to look it up and find out that this was a bolo tie. It's one of those Western ties that you wear around your collar and it kind of hangs down in the front. And this was a beautiful piece. This turquoise stone you know, was probably a little bigger than the size of a quarter. This, obviously the turquoise and the silver is what drove this price up. I sold this for a total of $107.50. Now this isn't money that I get to keep because this is my grandmother's, but I'm just showing you because if you come across something like this in a thrift store, don't hesitate to spend some money to pick it up. Um, this There wasn't anything, like I didn't have a brand on this. I, I literally just listed it unbranded as a silver and turquoise bolo tie. and. There it is, not even the best of photos, but some there's some items if I use the white background tool on, it takes away too much and it kind of deters from the photo. So although I do use it quite a bit on this one, I didn't, you can just see it sitting on my white sheet there. Uh, yeah, so $107.50. We're back to the hunting. 
Check out this shirt, guys. Hunting shirts sell so well for me. It's becoming a new favorite, at least in this uh, season. This Beretta XL brown padded shirt, I paid about, I think, $6 for. This wasn't a Goodwill. It was a higher priced um, thrift store, but I, I didn't have to think about it. No, actually, I, did, I paid 10 bucks for this. I remember paying up. And the reason why I paid up is because of the, the padding on the front and the back. If it's got this padding on the front, and that may look like a shadow to you, but it's actually a darker brown right there, um, that is what is like characteristic of a shooting or a rifle or a hunting shirt. It's got a little extra padding where the butt of the gun would sit, and it provides a little bit of um, padding for like the, the kickback when you fire a gun. And you can see the padding on the back of the shirt as well. Again, beautiful piece, great shirt, excellent condition, and I got $38 with shipping on this item that I paid 10 for. So though I paid up, I still got around 15 to $20 profit on this piece right here. So I don't typically pick up Beretta, but this was an item where it was like, I saw the sleeve and I saw the front and I was like, I'm picking that up. I don't care what brand it is. It's a beautiful shirt. All right, RVCA, I don't find that much. Um, these are stapler like chino pants and they were new with tags. I paid $4.50 for these at Goodwill not too long ago. And um, they were even a smaller size. You can see a waist of 29, which usually sits longer. But I had a buyer come and make an offer for 28 and plus shipping, $33 all in. And I accepted that. Only because I've had RVCA sit a little longer. I think I have a brand new pair of board shorts that are size 28. I can't sell them. They're just sitting and sitting. So that was a great offer. Um, I mean, it was close enough to that thirty-four seventy-nine. It was definitely going to take it. You heard me say at the beginning of this video that women's running shoes and running shoes in general sell. Take a look at these women's Hoka 1-1. I'm no stranger to Hoka, and if you've been watching my videos, you probably aren't either. It's just a great brand. I paid $6 for these at Goodwill. I sold these on a best offer of $45 with shipping. Women's size 10, that's even a larger size for women. Usually seven to nine is the sweet spot, seven and a half to nine, somewhere in there. So these were a little outside, but still they sold well. And they're just beautiful shoes. I mean, look at the color on this. They were great condition. They still even had some wear on the soles, but with Hoka, I mean, you can tell these have been running. There's wear on the bottom. Still got 45 bucks for these. Um, you know, on a better condition shoe, 50 plus on Hoka is not out of question. I've sold used Hoka's all the way up to $100 for an excellent pair of Hoka's. So um, Hoka 1-1, and then usually on the tongue or on the inside of the label, it will tell you the model. All right, here's an item that I sat on for probably a week. This Nike Golf, new with tags, tour performance vest, and it was 2XL. And I'll show you the inside tag there. You can see Nike Golf Tour Performance, great color, white and gray with that little neon green accent. I knew this would go for really good money. I did accept an offer on this. No, sold for that full price, $48.83. And you can even see it had a brand on the back of the neck. Rib Crib, 13th Annual Golf Invitational. Because of the placement on this, it's on the back, so a lot of people aren't gonna see it on the back or they're not as concerned about the back as much as they are the front. If, even if this was on the front, I would have picked it up, but I probably got more money because it was on the back. And new with tags doesn't help or doesn't hurt. Here's another outdoor shirt, guys. Let's call this the hunting outdoor hour. Vintage LL Bean chamois cloth shirt. It was a men's medium, smaller size, still sold. I love LL Bean, I've said it every time, but Look at that tag, that's an old tag. And I paid $4 for this shirt at Goodwill, flipped it for that full price of $42.23. I, I honestly was shocked by that. Um, not by the brand or not by what it was, but just because of the size, I thought I'd have to take an offer for 25 or 30 plus shipping. This sold for 34 plus shipping and I, I love that sale. So be on the lookout for these. Just know that they may start to cool off a little bit since we are into February now. Here's a brand I don't show you that often, but Sims. Sims is a fishing shirt, as you can see by the front logo there, that little fish on the pocket. This is a Sims shirt that I've never found before with the pearl snaps, more of that Western look. 
even though this is a, a fishing shirt and you can tell because it's vented on the back, you can see that it's got some pockets or some little area where wind and breeze can come up the back and cool a fisherman down. So it's got that Western look, but it's still definitely a fishing shirt. I was able to uh, pick this up for about six to eight bucks and I'm looking to see how much I got for it. This sold on a best offer of 35 plus five shipping. I had it at 39.83, just under $40 plus shipping, and I had several people come in and make offers for like 25 to 30. I kept countering at 35. I knew what I had. These this Sims was more of a unique piece. I knew I was going to get closer to 40 since there were definitely several comps at that $40 range, and I just waited. So after about three buyers coming in making slightly lower offers, they weren't horrible, but I just knew I was gonna wait until I got 40, and I did. Guys, one of my favorite sales of this January was this shirt right here. You can't see a tag on it because this brand does not um, have like huge logos all over their clothing. It's very discreet, very small, but it's a high-end brand. And I'll show you where the logo is, right there on the bottom back of the shirt. They're known for putting that little logo, usually in a reflective, um, like silvery reflective look on the back of their yoga pants and on the back of their attire. That's Lulu Lemon, all one word, Lulu Lemon right there. This, I didn't know what this shirt was. I knew it was a flannel. I knew it was probably, actually this was polyester, but I knew it was a different kind of shirt. I Googled this real quick, like Lulu Lemon flannel and I found out that this was the Mason's Peak by doing some search results. So I put that in the title, Men's Large, and it sold within a week of listing it for a best offer of $50 with shipping. I paid four bucks for this shirt, four into 50, great find there. So be on the lookout for that Lululemon brand. Here's one of the smaller sales of January. I say smaller, just more of my bread and butter items, although this is a brand I don't find that often, but Carbon to Cobalt looks just like that. Remember, Carbon to Cobalt, not Carbon. Carbon's a different brand. Um, so you wanna find that tag right there. Men's Medium Cotton Shirt. Still got a uh, $30 offer on this with shipping and took it. Would've gotten more in the mid 30s if it was a larger size, so great fine on that shirt. All right, a few items left here. Um, this Ralph Lauren RLX jacket I picked up. So you can kind of see the picture on this. It's This is a dark navy blue, but I had a hard time getting it to show. Almost looks black or, um, you know, it's kind of hard to tell that that's blue, but I've got navy blue in the title there. This jacket I had pr priced higher um, there are comps kind of all over the map on this, and so I wasn't sure what to list it at, but I had it, you can see I had it at $69.79. I ended up taking a best offer of $49. I figured 50 bucks on a jacket that I probably paid $6.50 to $8 on was good, and I had it for uh, about five or six months. So not a long, long time, but this was definitely taking up a lot of space, and we're nearing the end of winter, so I wanted to get this going. Finally got it for almost 50 bucks. RLX stuff, Ralph Lauren, that, that, that RLX is kind of their performance attire. So you can find like polos, golf polos, and um, like just more athletic apparel. Those sell really well. All right, how are you guys doing up there? <laughs> I say up there because I've got you up on my desk. Uh, let's see here. All right, cool. Rider pants. These are actually um, some that I found at the thrift store, wore them for a while. It's like an outdoor work pant, and they even had paint, uh, paint stains on the knee. And then I flipped them. And with Cool, um, I'll show you. There's the logo on the back of the belt loop. You can also find that on sleeves of shirts. There is how you, the brand looks, Cool. And then on the inside of, I guess I didn't take a picture of it, but typically on the inside of this uh, pocket, you can usually find what the model is. Ryder, Renegade, um, Slacks, I'm just naming off some some that I've seen in the past. Um, I actually have, you can see I've got another cool coming down the pipeline here, so I'll show you what that looks like, but that's how you tell what these are. It will say it inside the pocket flap. 
And so I got, uh, let's see, with the paint stain, I still got $40 on these pants. Without a paint stain, I would have gotten closer to 50. Cool is no joke, guys. I've talked about them in the past. They are a great pair of pants, outdoor pants, hiking, outdoor work, stuff like that. Another shooting shirt. Take a look at this. Very similar to that Beretta. Padding on the front, padding on the sleeves. Great colors. Um, vintage redhead. There's the redhead tag right there. 25 bucks on this. No, sorry. This sold full price. $28.83 on this redhead shirt. And just like all the others, didn't last long. The Cabela's camo, this redhead, and the Beretta. They all sold quickly. And mainly because we are in hunting season. Check this out. Picked it up at the Goodwill Bins for a couple bucks. This Tommy Hilfiger blazer. Um, there's the inside tag there. It's got a cool, I think that's called like a window pane pattern. I didn't put that in the title because it's kind of a long um, uh, like descriptor that maybe no one's really looking for. But um, I usually would put like check or plaid or something. I guess it's more of a check. That's a really cool color. It's gray with like a blue check pattern. And I got, how much did I get for this? 40, best offer of 40 plus nine shipping. I only paid a couple bucks for this. So my profit would have been about that 30 to $35 range since I did get this at the bins for so cheap. But this was a wool blend. No, not even wool blend. Take a look at that polyester viscose and the spandex. Gray fine on that blazer. Let's see if I can open that back up because one thing I wanted to talk about before I move on to that sweet North Face vintage suit, um, that collar right there is called a notch collar. Obviously, you can see the notch kind of the indention on the collar. So that's one of the item specifics and you'll definitely want to put that in. And then um, this is single breasted, which I didn't really know what that meant. I had to look it up on Google, but just so you know. If it buttons right there in the front and it's just one row of buttons, that's called single breasted. There's another item specific for that. And if it kind of folds over the front, like over here, and it has two rows of buttons where it kind of overlaps rather than just meeting in the middle, that's called double breasted. So um, something I didn't know, many of you probably already know, but just thought I'd point that out for any anybody who's unfamiliar with that. Check out this piece, guys. Picked it up last Christmas when we were home here in Arkansas. I think, I can't remember how much I paid for it. Um, it was either 100 and I got them down to 50, or it was 50 and I got them down to 25. Either way, I had this for a long time because, again, with ski stuff, stuff got, the mountains got shut down due to the virus, due to the uh, pandemic. So people weren't buying ski apparel. So I had this for over a year. I was just ready to move it. I had this sitting around 125 and kept lowering and lowering. Finally, you can see it's 87, 83. Someone made an offer for 65 plus six shipping and I took it. Check out that tag, guys. This vintage North Face um, tag there on this suit. It's a women's like one piece ski suit. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this is inappropriate or not, but someone said, call this a fart bag. Um, which I think is hilarious. I guess for people out in Colorado, they may uh, affectionately call this piece by that name. But uh, it's one piece. You jump into it, zip up. It's got the belt there. I mean, if I were in Colorado and I were a woman, I would sport this. So I'm glad that someone finally bought it. I pretty much just made my money back and went on. All right, th this brand I love. Um, but this is a piece by this brand that I haven't really found before. Check out this title, Duluth Magna Ready. Um, have you guys found any Duluth Magna Ready pieces at all? Um, I was just looking to find it to see how much I sold it for. It's actually sold full price for $36.83 really quick after listing it, probably within a few days. This brand, I don't usually find the tag like that, Duluth. This was a different looking tag, but um, the Magna Ready is a magnet button. So it's you don't have to button at all. It just pulls apart. So you can, by this picture, you can tell those look like buttons. They're really just magnets. So how cool is that piece right there? I knew that I had something that was unique. You're not gonna find a lot of magnetized buttons in on eBay, so for that I priced it higher. 
you can see I had it at 39.79. My 20% uh, off sale kicked it down to 31.83, and it sold full price. XL tall, great color, excellent shirt, looked brand new, hardly worn except for you know slightly wrinkled tag, but no flaws, no stains, nothing on this. Great sale on that piece, and I paid um, eight dollars at it was a non Goodwill store, so it was a little higher priced. All right, I promised you another cool coming down the pipeline. Here it is, Cool Slacks. Cool typically sells outdoor apparel, more like hiking gear, but they're trying to get into the everyday wear as well. And these are just like your um, more everyday, like go to the office or work around home casual pants. So the slacks are their lighter weight, not as durable, but just more casual. And here's inside the pocket. I promised I'd show you this. You can tell, um, I take a picture of this. It tells the model. And then it tells all of like the specifics on these pants. So anyone, I don't have to put this in the description, they can see this by the picture and we're good there. So I always take that picture and then um, there are like the material contents, but there's the cool. I got best offer of $37 on these with shipping and took it. On these slacks, you're not gonna get as much, you're not gonna get in the 40s unless they're like brand new. Um, but because these are more casual, they're going to be a little less money than like the cool riders or the cool renegades or the cool stealth is another one. All right, picked this up not long ago and it sold really quickly. Mountain Hardware Windstopper. I love these jackets. I, I never have them very long. It says Windstopper there on the sleeve. There's the Mountain Hardware logo there. And uh, I paid 12 bucks for this because I knew I would get decent money. And a buyer came along for $53 on an offer, 53 with shipping, and I took it. So 12 into 53, made about $35 profit on this. This is like a Gore-Tex um, heavy jacket, or I'd say a medium weight jacket. But yeah, I guess that was the last one. I thought I had one more, but that was it. That was my last one today to show you guys, and that was a great sale. So those were my January sales from this past month, it's February 1st. I've been looking to do a What's Old video and haven't done one in a while. So thank you for watching this, guys. What was one of your favorite items that I showed you today? Leave me a comment letting me know which piece you thought was the raddest piece that I sold that I showed you from January. Um, so be interested to know what you all think because there were some pretty sweet items in there from the North Face suit to some of those shooting shirts, those um, that bolo tie, just had some pretty rocking pieces that, um, I was excited to finally sell. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. Guys, I really appreciate it. And you know, leave a comment if you have any questions or anything and I'll answer them when I can. I hope this inspired you to get out and find more stuff to resell, to flip, to make money, because that's what it's all about right there. Flipping to make a little bit of profit, a little bit of extra cash in your pocket. So guys, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great week selling. Until the next video, this is Jason signing off. Happy selling. Bye. <laughs>